now that we have discussed about histogram one of the most important concept we are going to discuss in histogram is length of the rectangle so let's see how an histogram is related with length of the rectangle this session is about length of the rectangle for a histogram as we have discussed about an histogram it generally has all the rectangular bars which give thing now how do we calculate the length of each of the rectangle this 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 and this so this session is about finding the length of the rectangle given the frequency and the class interval and the class width so here we have a formula which says length of the rectangle bar of that specific bar in a histogram length of the rectangular bar in a histogram is given by frequency by class width into minimum class width as how we have the formula which we are going to use in finding the length of the rectangular bar given by the formula frequency by class width into minimum class width let's take an example problem to calculate the length of rectangle bars of each of the class interval now here is an example problem for which i would like to find the length of each rectangular bar represented by each class interval so let's see how we can find the length of the rectangular bar now clearly i see that for finding the length of the rectangular bar in the histogram i need the frequency which is already given but i need the class width and the minimum class width so let's see what is the class width and the minimum class width so here i have class width i clearly see that the class width out here is 0 to 20 so the width of the class is 20 upper limit minus lower limit 20 minus 0 is 20 and here the upper limit is 30 and the lower limit is 20 so 30 minus 20 is 10 so the class width of the second class interval is 10 here the upper limit is 40 and the lower limit is 30 so 40 minus 30 is 10 so the length this class is 10. Similarly, 50 minus 40 is 10. And 80 minus 50 is 30. That's how we get the class widths of each of the class intervals. Now, clearly, I see that the minimum class width is the least of all these values. And I clearly see that 10 is the least of all the class so minimum class width is 10 now we have the minimum class width we have the class width and we have the frequency therefore the length of the rectangle is given by the formula frequency by class width to minimum class width so here frequency by class width into minimum class width is what we get proceeding out here 7 by 2 is 3.5 so length of the rectangle for the first class interval is 3.5 similarly here frequency 
by class width into minimum is 10. And thirdly, the frequency by minimum by class width to this is 10. And here, the frequency is 20. And then finally, the frequency by 30 into the class width, into minimum class width is 10, which is this. Therefore, the length of the rectangle for each of the class intervals is 3.5 for this class interval, 10 for this, 10 for this, 20 for this, and 10 for this. It's how we understand the length of the rectangle connected with respective class intervals. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.